Okay, even if they are going to drop me in water 100 times, I will go all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you contend with God when it comes to the issue of tithes? God said, prove me herewith if I will not open the windows of heaven. When someone who has the powers to shut the heaven says, because of your singular obedience, I will open the windows of heaven. And then you begin to contend with him. Do you have power to open heaven for yourself? I pray for you this year. Whatever has shut your heaven, the almighty God, because of his mercy, as I stand on this mercy seat, because of his mercy, he will open the heaven for you. Yeah. What can God do? God can shut up. And God can open. He can shut up. That's what he has revealed to us in the Bible. But he can also open. That's why he said in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, 2 Chronicles 7, he said, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and we forgive their sin and we heal their land. And when he heals the land, there will be fruitfulness. So I want you to tell your neighbor, he will heal our land. And there will be fruitfulness. Please say it again. Shall we rise on our feet, everybody? Shall we rise on our feet? I want you to thank God for this, for this very day. For all that the Lord has opened our eyes to see about the issue of fruitfulness. If there is no fruitfulness, God must have a reason. And he had opened our eyes into various things. Various things that could happen, that could have happened. Just thank him for speaking into our lives today. Because from now on, there will be fruitfulness. There will be fruitfulness. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. He will speak to our land. And there will be fruitfulness. It will speak to our land and there will be fruitfulness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to say, Heavenly Father, every spirit of fruit, fruitfulness that has, that has been attacking my life, every form of fruitlessness, Attacking my life. Attack it today. Call upon the Lord. You said you will become an adversary to my adversary. That's, that's a promise. Every form of fruitlessness. Attacking me. Attack it today. Attack it today. Attack barrenness in every front. Attack it yourself. You said you will become an adversary to my adversary. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will say, Heavenly Father, whatever I have done, whether in word or in deed, that has shut the heaven above me, forgive me today. Call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. Whatever that has shut the heaven above me, forgive me today. My father, forgive today.
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to stretch your hands towards, uh, towards this altar at this point in time. God wants you to pray a prayer for yourself. Say after us, Heavenly Father, speak into my hands. Speak fruitfulness into my hands. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Speak to my hands, O oh Lord. Speak fruitfulness. Speak fruitfulness into my hand. Speak fruitfulness into my life. Speak fruitfulness into my family. Speak fruitfulness. My father, speak fruitfulness. Fruitfulness, Lord. Into every area of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will say after us, Heavenly Father, from now on, I will not contend you with you about my tithes. From now on, I will not be wiser than your word. From now on, I will be submissive unto your will. From now on, I will obey you accordingly in every area of my life. And it shall be so in the name of Jesus. And somebody will say a good amen. amen. It's time to give our offering quickly. Choir. I will never be. I will never. I decree upon your life that it shall be well with you. You will go out in praises. You will return in victories. The hand of the God of heaven shall be revealed on your behalf. The rock of ages will keep you safe. In the day and in the night. The Holy One of Israel shall be your rear guard. The word from the beginning shall speak for you. The heavenly advocate shall plead for you. The help of the helpless shall rise for you. The hope of the hopeless shall be made manifest on your behalf. The light of the world is going ahead of you this week. And he's saying you shall not walk in darkness. You shall be fruitful on all sides. In the name of God the Father. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. We share the grace and fellowship one to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now. Forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. Now we follow forever and ever. Say that to somebody and say, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord.
Let somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful, my God. You